so this was felt by the company and by some of the investigators uh, several years ago when we were planning this uh, to be the group that had an enormous need. Those were that were refractory to chemotherapy. Merkel cell carcinoma, many people refer to, probably correctly, is a chemosensitive disease. Um, more than half of patients will initially respond to chemotherapy. The trick is almost none of them, less than 5%, will benefit in a persistent way, that is, at one year or beyond. So this was the setting of uh, this uh, trial, uh, to go into patients that needed immune therapy the most, and very gratifyingly, the response rate was solid in the 30% range, 33% range. Um, that, though, isn't very different than chemotherapy. What is entirely different is Almost none of the chemotherapy patients stay in response and almost all of the immune therapy patients do, about 70 to 80 percent. Over now, we're approaching two to three years in patients. So while we now know through studies of Evalumab and other uh, PD-1, PD-L1 inhibitors that uh, pr giving prior chemotherapy lowers the chance that a person will respond to immune therapy, uh, once you do respond to immune therapy in this cancer, uh, there's a very high chance of ongoing significant benefit.